Um, the purpose of this video, um, it's going to be part of an ongoing series that I'm doing that's currently focused on designing and deploying a simple flashcard app for Android uh, and later maybe iOS using only Python. All right, and the program itself is not that, you know, it's not, it's nothing crazy. So for the most part, I mean, I just use IDLE. All right. Now, I mean, pretty standard, right? For the most part, it's just kind of good practice to make sure you've got everything set up correctly, at least I'm told. All right, so from here, just gonna follow along. It's going to be And oops, I'm jumping, jumping ahead a little bit. All right, so you've got your URL. All right, and just going ahead. All right, so what I just did there is essentially I opened a new U client and it's just reading the page, pretty simple. Um, then I have to close it. All right. Now I just have to make my suit. Parse, oops, parser. All right, so now I've got my suit. Next thing you're going to want to do, inspect the page. Now, essentially, what I want is everything on basically the reason i like this site is it's very clean it's it's pretty elegant and pretty much it's html so it's very easy to uh scrape essentially so what i need is these two columns essentially um and i can do that by going in and seeing okay where where am I? So I'm gonna go to this div. I'm gonna go to the table element. And it should have what I need. Okay. Okay. Now literally, okay, so you have the 
opinion and you have the character so for the most part I know that everything I need is going to be in this element so essentially what I would do is for containers equals to find all All right, and get ready for this. Now from here, first I wanna make sure I copy everything over, right? Okay, now the whole point to me kind of doing this in the shell is usually like, mm -hmm. let's pretend that I, I'm doing this for the first time and I didn't know how to find anything. So for the most part, um, I can use the shell to kind of test out what I found um, and I could just have it print containers, right? And this probably going to be a lot, right? Yeah, so squeeze 331 lines. Um yeah, why not? Let's 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 show it. Okay. So it it came up with all of this, right? So that's that's what's in there. Okay? And that's that's all one page, right? Um, so for the most part, what I'm going to do from there is there are only a couple pieces of that that I actually want. Like if you noticed in the table, um, it was the first two items um, in that table, right? So if we go back, all I want is just the Hansa character and I want the pinion. All right, so squeeze it back so uh, it's a little bit cleaner. All right, so what I'm going to do from there then is for container and containers, I just want to make a loop, all right? On the temp. Pinned container dot table data. Right, is that all I need? Yeah, so, um, yeah, just a pretty simple for loop. Python makes it pretty easy. Uh, from there, I'm just going to uh, take that empty list and I'm going to append um, every piece of uh, table data into that list. There we go. All right, and I'm kind of running out of names, so here we go. And the uh, temp. Hans Lewis equals that opinion equals K 
count equals zero. All right, and from here, Should be good. Okay. All right, so I did a lot there, but essentially all I did was I had um, a bunch of rows of data um, and you couldn't really distinguish between the rows, but one thing that you knew is that they were all um, even. I mean, they had the same amount of data um, and I had two categories. I had one side that um, I was drawing the Chinese characters from and then the other side I was drawing opinion from. So that's essentially what these four loops that I created were. Essentially, it's just I'm um, looking for Hanzo, which is going to be the first one. And for the second one, I'm looking for the pinion, which is the second one there. Um, so essentially, when this works together, you're going to have a list of uh, Hanzo on one side and then pinion on the other um, before it goes to the next one. Um, now, the last part that you have to do is there is one more for loop. And if you notice, there are about a hundred characters on every single page right even though right now we're just looking at the first page okay so we're here and then I want to print so this count Plus just putting these strings together and then I'm going to update the count and look at that go.